What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the City of Z once again. I will be your tour guide today and I hope you enjoy your stay and today we're talking about Future Zombies DLC map, specifically Dare Eisendrock, which is coming in less than a month's time and I thought we should talk about something that's been on my mind for a little while. And what that is? Well, melee weapons and potentially new melee weapons that could come to zombies and why? Well, it's kind of common sense almost when you think about it and it's really been bugging me. So I wanted to make a video, talk to you guys, let's see what you guys have to think after the video. Leave a comment, make sure to let me know your thoughts, if you guys can leave a rating that would be fantastic and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future Black Ops 3 Zombies content cause you know, zombies is the best bruh. But anyway, let's get into today's video. So. What really got me thinking about more melee weapons is the whole Bowie knife thing, which I haven't really been following, but you know, on multiplayer people have been talking about like the Bowie knife coming back or something like that. Or not coming back, but being implemented into the game, you can get the multiplayer Bowie knife version. I don't really know, I wasn't really following, but that got me thinking, that got me thinking. You know, they added the wrench and those other melee weapons to multiplayer, right? But does that mean that they can just put in some multi- or not multiplayer, but zombies melee weapons? And I think yes, I think there's several different possibilities that they can deal with melee weapons. As you see in Shadows of Evil and Origins, we've had two different special super powerful melee-ish weapons. In obviously in Shadows of Evil we have the swords. Those are our special wonder-esque weapons that are melee things. And in Origins we had the staffs or whatever the plural of a staff is. But regardless of that, the campaign team which is now the zombies team run, run by Jason Blundell they seem to like these melee style weapons, right? They seem to be fascinated or they just like putting them in the game and they're fun you know you craft them and you upgrade them and they're super powerful right so we have the staffs from origins we have the, the swords from shadows of evil what's next because jason blundell and the camp former whatever campaign team is making their eyes and and all of the dlc right so are they going to implement implement some new super powerful melee like weapon i think yes but does that mean that we're not gonna get like a wrench or something? I don't know. They could do both. They could do one thing They could put some new bio things on the wall. I would love to see that, you know, sort of themed with the maps I mean, I don't know why they put in a wrench like why a wrench. That's what I don't understand but <laughs> and that's if anyone has the answer I'd love to hear that but regardless of that I feel like for Dare Eisendrak, they could put in like a viable, I don't know, it's a castle, right? It's a medieval castle. If there is indeed ice caves, then we can go with an ice pick or something like that. Or, you know, maybe even just like an axe. Or maybe for the last map, I would love for our characters to be able to buy their respective weapons. So like Takio can get his sword and all the things that we see in the Origins cutscene, you know? Like, Ta I would, Takio Sword would be freaking baller, yo. It would be sweet. I would love that. And I'm sure a lot of people would too. But that's way into the future. I feel like for Dare Eisendrak, we're definitely going to be getting some sort of special Wonder Weapon-esque thing that you can craft. You know, Shadows of Evil, Origins, those serve as past examples of this. So I think that's going to happen for sure. But I also think... That, you know, we could get something on the wall. That would be pretty cool. I think a lot of people would like that. You know, maybe some sort of axe. That's what I'm leaning towards. But make sure to leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to leave a rating. As always, it's been the City of Z. I'll see you guys next time.